Hello and welcome. Power World is just around the corner. In about a hair pass of freckle, we'll all be playing it. But there is a ton of confusion on the servers, cross-play, how your characters are going to be saved and your co-op and your dedicated servers. And you have multiple characters. Provide all that information here for you. Now, if there's any corrections to be had, that will be in the description. I'll also be adding all the server details as soon as we get them. So if you do want to start your own server, that information will be included. But in the description, I believe that they will be making an announcement after the game goes live about the actual server details don't quote me on that but that is a possibility but again check description should have everything you need also have some of the options for renting a server and any extra information that is not included here okay we're going to start with the cross play and platform capabilities so cross play between xbox and steam no it's not available at launch so the pc gods cannot play with the xbox legends they're separate there is plans to enable it and get it working down the track we'll have a lot more information on this once we get the roadmap in the next one to two months I'll definitely be covering that. So consider doing the things that you need to do to uh, get this information. What about the PC Game Pass and Steam? No, no cross play between these platforms either. So basically your Xbox OGs and your Xbox PC guys you will not be able to play with anyone on a PC on Steam. Okay, what about Xbox PC and the Xbox console crossplay? Yes. So Xbox PC and Xbox OGs can crossplay together in a co-op mode only. So that's definitely a good plus. Now, that includes your Game Pass as well. Keep in mind, it's important to know that Xbox only offers co-op and not dedicated servers for the 32-player experience. That is because Microsoft are assholes. Apparently, I'm not too sure that's the case, but Apparently, it's very difficult to get that negotiated and organized with Microsoft, so it's not happening right now. Don't know the plans for that in the future. There are saying, there are whispers, it's just something that will potentially happen. But on launch and for the foreseeable future, no dedicated server, only co-op on Xbox, but keep that in mind. While we're on the topic of co-op, so PC and Xbox will have access to co-op. Co-op is up to four players. To create a co-op game, you go start new game, and then there's a little slider where you can go single player or multiplayer multiplayer you just go and you select multiplayer key thing about understanding about co-op is it's host dependent so say you want to play with four mates you create and host the game you send a private code to your mates then they can join all the progress buildings items everything is tied to the local host game world so you guys can have a blast up until the point where the host leaves. Now, my understanding is a co-op, you need to have the host in game for co-op to work. As soon as the host leaves, then the game ends for everyone and you can't continue in that world, in that local hosted world until the host comes back Then you'll be able to join again. So do keep that in mind. Now, what about joining and rejoining co-op modes? So say if you have three friends join your co-op mode, co-op mode and one leaves, my understanding is it's possible for a different player to come and join that game if they have the, the link, if they have the private link or password Word, whatever it is they can play as well create a character everything they do will stay in that world as well say if they leave and then the other friend that previous left comes back he will see all the stuff that the new player did and the world will grow and everything he's done will also be there so basically it's a, con it's a continuity of a living world with all the players that have joined the server so returning players who rejoin the session should find that the previous contributions to the world like buildings resources gathered pals all that sort of stuff will still be there as these are part of the host persistent world and within co-op my understanding is is that you can't destroy or remove other players buildings but i'm not 100 sure about that but i believe it's just like similar other pve kind of type deals where it's all about working together so i believe you cannot destroy each other's things but that's something i will have to definitely correct if there is any changes to that assumption because i don't technically know for sure but just check the description and another thing to note is there is no tethering in co-op you guys can go and explore however far away you want from each other it's your own individual experience which is great to see so no tethering and again, this applies to Xbox and PC users. This is going to be our experience with co-op. Keep in mind that there is no migration or host migration. So again, the host leaves, you'll get disconnected. It is host dependent. The other thing to note though, is that the characters you create in that co-op world only exist in that world and are not transferable to any other server. But you're more entitled to have as many characters as you want, but they are server bound. So each time you join a different server, you'll have to create a new character, do everything again. And then if you leave that server, and then joined a different server that you've never been to before, that process will repeat. So there may be some issues at launch here with the Steam servers. Having so many different people, it might be worth just jumping into your own co-op multiplayer mode. Even if you do just want to play a solo game, it's probably worth just creating a multiplayer mode anyway, just in case down the track you do want to bring in some mates so you can show off your world because it's entirely up to you and how you control it because it is based on a private key, I believe, or password to join 
your multiplayer co-op. So consider creating that over just a single player game mode. But yeah, just keep in mind, your characters are server bound. They can't transfer. So be mindful of where you want to start and what servers you want to spend time on. And also be mindful if you are playing on dedicated servers, you are sharing. So you might not necessarily get the spot or get in to that server. Steam Legends, they will have the option of Steam dedicated servers as well as local hosted co-op servers and be able to have private servers as well. And there is future plans for crossplay that will be coming up down the track. We'll find out more details about that when the roadmap is released. Probably within the first month or two of Powell going live, we should get that one year planned roadmap, which will give us all the information we hopefully want to see so badly. Now, I do also just want to note that this release is a synchronized release. Power World for Xbox, PC, and Xbox consoles, Steam, Windows Store, PC Game Part, whatever it is, it's all launching at the same time, all going live. And that is obviously January the 19th at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So just keep that in mind. There's plenty of places you can go to check out the exact time it will be dropped for you. I may put a link in the description for that. Xbox users will be able to pre-download Power World using the Xbox uh, app, I believe. So if you do want to get some of it downloaded before it goes live, make sure you download it onto your Xbox using the Xbox app. As far as Steam, I don't think there is a preload window. I think we all just have to try getting it downloaded all at the same time. That's my current understanding. If there is any corrections to this, see the descriptions. And just keep in mind, I should have mentioned this before, but PvP obviously isn't available and won't be for some time in Power World. Very grateful and hopeful that they have done this because it's a very complicated system to implement. The more time they have, the better balance and more well thought out, it will actually be integrated and introduced. But again, no PvP. So just to summarize that, Cold up, up to four players hosted by one person your mates can join that they can come and go new players can come and go the world will progress everything is saved and that's a really good way to go and that will be xbox and peace that'll be xbox and steam now when it comes to the dedicated servers again no dedicated servers available for xbox dedicated servers are definitely available for steam users now don't know how much there will be or if there's going to be a lot of problems but there is that option as well to go for a dedicated servers that steam you that steam host in terms of the difficulty and what kind of settings available I will hope and assume that there'll be a variety of different servers available with different difficulties in place. We'll have to wait to see if that is true. I'll make a correction if it's not the case. Now, my understanding is once we get the server details and information from Power World, we should also be able to create our own locally hosted dedicated server on our own machines. That's my current understanding. And I'll have to add all that information on how we do it, what the minimum requirements are to do that as soon as we get it. So check the description for that. Now, there is plenty of options of renting servers yourselves. I'll put a bunch of links in the description of some good options that you could use. So if you do want to use one of those options, check them out. They're some of the more reputable ones. But again, I don't have a lot of knowledge on that. So do your own research there. Now for creating your own solo games, you just go start a new game and it'll be like a solo option. You can create as many of those as you want. But again, all that stuff you do on your own single solo player game won't be transferable to another PvP, to another co-op or PvE dedicated or private private server, but you do have the luxury when you make your own PvP or solo game to mess around with the custom settings. Custom settings offer a very good flexibility within all the different sort of systems in the world and what you want to increase difficulty or make it much easier. You can make this very, very difficult if you want to. And now if you do want to know the exact approximate time that Power World early release is going to be available to you, I will include a link to a game radar site that has a countdown that is adjusted for your location, which is really neat. So we're just always so close. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this answers majority of the questions. If I forgot anything. Please forgive me. But thank you very much for stopping by. I hope this was useful. This should definitely give us a bit more of an idea of what to expect in a few hours. And uh, hopefully I'll see you around. I'll probably will be making my own server at some point next week. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll maybe do some streaming as well. But yeah, peace out. Catch you later.